Morning folks and uh, welcome and uh, we're on uh, we're on the uh, Amstrad turntable that I got from Jay over at Jay's Vintage Junk. What I'm going to do, I'm going to replace, I'm not going to replace the power cable, there's no need to do that, power cable's good. What I'm going to do, I'm going to replace the signal cable take these two horrible get rid of these this horrible lead ow got bloody pliers on me foot I should wear hobnail hobnail boots in here anyway what I'm gonna do I'm gonna get rid of this whole signal cable that's on here and uh, put some new stuff on we've got a nice got a nice uh, we've got the soldering iron all warmed up solder there we've got some nice uh, nice length of signal wire here which is probably a little bit short a little bit shorter than the original but there again I don't know might be about the same length, yeah. Could be about the same length. Anyway, regardless, it's going on it. <coughs> it's got nice gold plated plugs. And to stop it separating too far, I've put a piece of each ring here. Uh, I've put a piece of each ring here to stop it to stop it separating too far. So you get just a clearance to plug into the amp. And it's got gold plated plugs. So they say. Anyway, uh, the reason why I'm using this, it had a scar lead on the end of it, which today these days is useless. So I thought I might as well put the cable to good use. So that's what we're going to do now. And that's for Donald Trump. Put, do that like that and what that does it stops the belt from getting lost because obviously I'm going to take the turntable off and I'm going to leave that big heavy turntable on uh, stylus can stay in because it's dirty that it's got a lump of shit on there somehow I don't want to push it, it's gone now. So what we'll do, we'll put the, lock the arm in its support. <coughs> and we'll flip the deck over onto its dust cover. If this was a customer's, you would actually put something under the dust cover, but as it's mine, as it's mine, it doesn't really matter. Uh, but we don't need to open this one, because there's no electrics in there. All we need to do is open this one to get out the connections. This has got real wood veneer on it all the way around, you know. It's. I'm actually going to do some work on the. Uh, just take the cover off. Mm, that's a bit how you're doing, isn't it? Yeah, look at that. Yeah, that's a bit how you're doing that, isn't it, folks? Look at the state of that. Wow. Amstrad. I don't know. Right, well what we're going to do, we're going to try and find something better than that. 
So we've got plenty of room under this cover to put a decent put a decent connector in there. Plenty of room to do that, so that's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna get rid of this horrible shitty connector. Look at that, that is disgustingly bad. Woefully unacceptable that. So Take our wires off. This could be an issue. Put a nice connector on here. I will retain, however, the black earth lead. I will retain that. And what they've done there, they put a fucking knot in it. How fucking stupid is that? They put a knot in it to stop it being pulled. Fucking hell. I'm not going to have trouble of fucking trying to pick that one done. So what we do, we hold the wires out of the way. There we go. That's how we do that. We can also check the wires, which we're okay with. Well, we want the black wire because we want to salvage, salvage that. The rest of it we don't fucking want. We make a new connector to go under there. There we go. Yeah. And we'll, te we'll actually test this to make sure that it's in good nick. These, this wire will get saved because it's it's shielded cable, so won't be thrown away. Put that there. <coughs> now let's get my terminal strip out. Because I do have a strip of it somewhere. We have a strip of terminal strip somewhere. Wherever it's fucking gone. Not up there, is it? No. It's in this drawer somewhere, I'm certain of it. I'm sure it's in this drawer. I seen it the other day. I'm sure I've seen it in there. There's that stuff there, but that's not it. It's proper like stuff. You know, it's a fucking strip of terminal strip. That 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 fucking long. Why am I failing to fucking see that? Jesus. I could put two RCA connectors on it, but I'm not going to.
Ouch! Someone's stuck in my fucking finger then. Where the fuck's my fucking terminal strips? They were in here. Hang on. What was that I just pressed on? Probably them fucking capacitors. It fucking hurts when you do that. Where the fuck's my terminal strips? They were in here. Clearly not now, if they are, I can't fucking see them. Let's check the other drawer in case I threw them in there. Which is possible. No. It was possible, but I didn't. Have a look on the window cell. There they are. <coughs> yep, yeah, and these. They will fit. So I need left, right and ground so and I'd rather use the middle so cut that off there Stanley knife this time and score the bastard. And all I need to do is all the grounds can go together. All the grounds can go together, that's no problem. Now where's my clamp? More the point, where's my new cable? There it is. Well I want to just test this cable. I think that'll be alright. Just get the real meal the meters in the front room and I'm too lazy. Because uh, Steve was here today and we were having a look at I've got a Solora radio. We were having a look at a quick look at today and we wanted to measure some voltages. So we'll the meters in there. So I'm just gonna test this with the AVO7. Just make sure that they're good nick. I'll test the leads there as well before I fit them. Problem with that, or am I just losing continuity? I think that's okay. So we'll leave them leads there because we'll need them soon. prepare our new wire which should fit in the channel it doesn't matter if it doesn't we we'll just make the channel a bit fucking wider if anything it'll be tighter <coughs> <coughs> Yeah, 
it's a nice fit wireless as well folks it's really good stuff look at that my glasses are eating my face there we go can put all these on one, all these grounds. Look at these are pretty thick man, you're not done that thick once you unwrapped them. Look at this, you've got double shielding in this. Lovely. Nice thick wires. Just clip this. I'll tell you what, if that's how like the fucking last fucker, more than two sniffs of that bastard and you're greedy. The other one fucking stunk, it was rotten. Mm. The thing about fires, I like kids, aren't they? You, know, you can only really, you can only stand your own. You can only put up with your own. Yeah. I know you can't. I know it's you can't probably see what I'm doing here, but all I'm doing really is uh, stripping wire and chatting shit to you guys and farting and having a bit of fun. Yeah, but this old turntable. In fact, before I actually join them together, we just twist them because I might not want to join them together. Right. Clamp with the with the earth. The actual ground. Shouldn't really need that, but you know, I can never quite figure that out. Why you need an extra earth when you've got your two earths in your fucking in your tone arm? I've got one of them, I've got one of them on my garage there on, do you know something, it's not connected and if I connect it, my fucking turntable hums like fuck so I don't have it connected so, there's obviously a reason for it, probably an audio filey reason but I mean it does reduce up, it depends on where your earths I suppose it depends on where your earths connect to in your turntable as to where, I suppose it depends on where your earth is connected to your turntable and where your earth is on your machine, on your amp. I 
might need a separate screw for that. Or will I? Maybe not. Ooh, nearly lost the fucking screw then. Right. No, maybe not. See if we can get that on there as well. No, I'll have to put a separate screw in for that. No problem, I'll find one in a minute. I mean this is probably this is probably increasing the value of it. This is probably increasing the value of the turntable by doing this. It's certainly going to improve it, I would think. But in this good quality grade of wire on it. See, that's not going to go anywhere, that's lovely. Get it straight, there we go. Tighten that down. So we're Tight. Ooh, that moves a whole lot now. Uh, what I need to do next is find a screw to screw that down. But what we'll do, we can get our connections on it first. So we'll turn that. Turn that. Feed that one through. Feed that through. Feed that through. Solder them two on. I do have some solder knocking about here before there is. And I'm going to pull it over the top. Why am I going to do that, you might ask? This one gets you a tighter joint. That's that one. Sold it, I'll bung it all up and we'll get it fucking through. And one thing we don't want to do is bung our all up. This is going to be a fucking pain. Come on. Tell you what folks, it's so fucking raining out there, it's been shite this weekend. Fucking proper rubbish. Oh for fuck's sake. There we go. Someone mentioned to me last week fucking about an heat wave. Yeah, right. I 
I'm all things I'll fucking believe it when I say it. And then fold that over the top. Pull that one through. And it's got to come through. Oh, for fuck's sake. I thought it was through. Right. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to solder that. Right, that's all the three earths. I'm going to solder the three grounds in now. There we go. Any stragglers I'll just pull them off because there's more than enough fucking strands in there. That way I don't get any shorts. There we go. Right, well that's okay. I'm not going to do any cutting down so I've sold the actual torn arm wires on. Right, all this extra wire you've got here. Right, so that's that's I'll tell you what, they're there fucking. All the grounds can go to fucking gather. I mean, the fucking blue, the green, two blacks, they can all go together, be sold on at the same fucking time. What I'm gonna do, I want them all lined up. One of them ain't, the blacks are not. There we go. See if I do them lined up, at least then they won't fucking. Solder there. Blue ain't and the black ain't. Should have them. 
shouldn't matter all the grounds going together because they fucking all meet up eventually anyway. So they all go together anyway. They all eventually come up, come up with a fucking ground, don't they? So put some solder on here. There we are. Solder the white. There we are. Put that down that hole there. All we need to do now is find a screw for that. And just chop that fucking down there. Hold that back. Need to screw that down. Cause that ain't gonna go anywhere. Right, put another screw in. I thought I was going to need to use another screw, but I don't need to. There we go, put that there. And tighten that fucker down. And then we'll get an amplifier up and test it. Check for short circuits. Can we get the reading on that one? Not much of a reading, there's a resistance on that one. It does say we've got a fucking short on that. Happy with that. Don't do that. I'm not happy with that. Getting the reading, a bit of reading on one side. That could be the coil, the cartridge, which means we're getting reading from one side of it. Should be getting reading from both sides of them, not so. Hmm, 
Yeah, I'm actually doing this in there we're not there the reading there which is what we want to say now let's see check the white Yeah. Check the red. No reading on that one, didn't get a reading on the other one, so... I don't think I'm getting a connection on the blue. I'm going to get in the connection on the blue, let's have a look. Yeah, there's a connection there. Well, I think there is. Nope. Not getting a connection on the blue. So that's reading the blue. And you connect it. That's the nice thing about leaving the cartridge in when you do this sort of thing, you can fucking see when you can work it out. There we go. Now I should have a connection there. Which I've got. And a connection there, which I've got. I leave the cartridge in, it can tell you that you've got a good connection. So if I had left the cartridge in and just done that, I wouldn't have thought I'd soldered the blue one. I wonder if it might be easier to put that on that way and cut a nice channel out for it. Might be. It doesn't really matter which way it goes on. Right there. I'm just Better. Go in there, you con. There we go. Sorted.
Okay, we'll pull the ITT up in a minute and give that a test. Right, test all our leads. Look at that, that's it's about as long as just a little bit shorter than the original probably. Now let's just test all our leads. <sighs> yep. 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 So that is all our leads done. Right. Put this back the right way up. And there's the ball bearing out the middle. That was lucky, wasn't it? I could have lost that. A little bit gritty down there, you know. Right, so that's the service done on the turntable, sort of. So we'll see. We'll plug, connect our amp up. We'll go for the ITT amp this time. We had the we had the, the leak on the other day. So. And I haven't really tested the ITT with how it sounds on a record player, so I'm quite interested to find out. Quite eager to find out, actually. Still yet to decide what the fate of this amp is going to be. I've got to go to the room and get to do the speaker as well. Me and Steve were using it this afternoon. Bear with me folks, just go and get me the speaker, it's too late in the morning to be fucking about digging out, getting big speakers to put on, oh it's piping in on that fucking, it's piping in on that fucking what do you call it, 
IT, see, I can't use the fucking thing. You twat, what about that? I forgot that ITT's got a five pin dinner on it folks. Still I needed this speaker in here anyway. And I haven't got a five pin in. Adapter. Uh, RCA to fucking. No I haven't. I haven't got the right lead. So. Looks like we'll have to have the, uh, which is a bit of a bummer. I'll have to make a lead up for this, yeah, it's, yeah, for no, it's a five pin den. It would be, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah, fucking, never mind. Never mind, we'll have the fucking, we'll have to have the leak on again. Forgot about that. I'll have to make a lead up. I'm not doing it now. I'll make a fucking make a patch in I'll make a patch lead up at some point to do the job. I was looking forward to seeing how that sounded as well. Fucking lead there we are. Good job of fucking remember, remembered in time, wasn't it? Cause I nearly fucking didn't. Cause, uh, this is a nice amp. But I was looking for. I was looking forward to using the other one. I might still get some sort of fucking hum because this fucking amplifier hasn't got an earth on its power lead yet. Alright, pick up one, nothing that's left. Fucking hell, they're a bit close together, aren't they? There we go. Look at they're a bit close. Wow. Yeah, they obviously had no concept of no con concept of fucking putting things further apart in the fucking early days. Put the earth on. That's it. Turn the solder line off. Move this fucking shite. Turn these on. 
the volume down. But I'll tell you what, fucking hum is nowhere near as bad as it was. No other leads on it. That's a fucking lot better. Uh, let's get our record out. I'll tell you what, we'll have the KTEL multi exerciser to start with. We haven't had that one for a bit, have we? So why we've got no fucking power? Oh, hang on. Hi there, I'm the KTEL Exercise Man, welcoming you to a new you. Because KTEL takes much pleasure in introducing you to the multi exerciser. The exerciser that's designed to give you the shapely, healthy body that you've been looking for. Now, look at yourself in the mirror. If you want to get rid of that pot belly or spare tire, or maybe just tone up your muscles, then now you really can. Just a few minutes with the exerciser every morning and evening is all you need to do. The KTEL multi exerciser is a very simple device to use. All you need is a convenient place to attach it, like a door handle that's about waist high, but make sure no one can open the door while you're doing your exercises. The room should have plenty of fresh air, with a carpet or a rug to lie on, and you can also have a cushion to put under your hips if you need it. Now take advantage of the privacy of home to wear the absolute minimum of clothing, so you're not restricted in your exercising. Now, before going on to the exercises, make sure you have read the exerciser instructions carefully, so that you'll be familiar with all the movements. Why don't you keep it next to you while exercising, for easy reference. Now, are we all ready? Good. Well, let's try a nice, easy exercise to start you off with. This one's called the Tummy Toner. Now, this exercise is designed to tighten up those slack tummy muscles. First of all, lie on the floor, face up, with your head up near the door. <coughs> Put your feet in the straps and take the hand straps above your head. Now, you just may have to adjust the straps at this point so that your feet just clear the floor. OK, are we all ready now? Good. Now, keeping your legs and arms straight, pull down on your hand straps and raise your legs. The muscles in your arms and legs and stomach should all of them work together. Now, raise your legs as high as you can and then lower them to the floor again. Now, let's try with a little bit of rhythm this time. OK, are we all ready now? And away we go. Up, two, three, and down, two, three. Smoothly now, no jerks. And up, two, three, down, two, three. And up, two, three, and down, two, three. Now, with continuous exercising, you should be able to do at least 100 of these by the end of this week. And while you're in that position, let's move straight on to the second exercise. This one's called the high stepper. With your feet and hands still in the straps as they were before, bend one knee and bring it up right to your chest. And then, as you lower it, bring the other knee up in a kind of marching action. Now, with this one, it's important to flex the leg fully as you lower it and get the knee as close as possible to the chest. Got the idea? Right. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Now keep practicing that one because it's very good for the whole body. Ready for exercise number three? Good. This is another nice, easy one called the thigh shaper. And once again, assume the correct starting position. On your back, on the floor. Both feet in the straps, hands in the hand straps. Keeping them straight, raise your legs to a midway position. And that's about halfway between horizontal and vertical. Then lower one leg about 16 to 19 inches. Not to the floor, mind. And as you raise it again, lower the other leg the same distance. 
Repeat this scissor action as fast as you can go. One, two, 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 one, two. Can you feel those lazy muscles working for you? Good. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Everything's happening. One, two, one, two, one, two. Here we go. One, two, one, two. And now you should gradually work your way up to 100 exercises. Now that you've got those under your belt, why not turn the record over and reap more benefits from your KTEL multi-exerciser? Yeah, why not, uh, no, we'll have the Philips one. Still a bit of a hum there. Just turn this plug off a minute. Maybe because this amp's not earthed, I think that's what it is. Anyway. Because the amp isn't earthed. Right, let's put the Phillips record on. Like the bluish shade. Twist up and down and tilt like it's floating heads. Unique Billy Shade. Twist here, twist there, twist just yeah. like it's floating heads. It's floating, floating heads caress your face. Like Stubborn whiskers go yeah. without a trace. But this personal touch is so unique. It's made for every face by a new technique. Let's twist! the Phillips for the shaves twist obviously but you all know that by now anyway folks uh, that was just to demonstrate the uh, new wiring I've put on it is working better it's not a... still got a bit of a hum there but let me try and see if we can nerf the amplifier find a piece of wire let's find something to earth the amplifier with let's turn it off for a second 
So we can nerf the amplifier, that'll fucking solve it. The trouble is I can't find a piece of freaking wire to nerf it with. Shame really, I'd like to have tried it on my ITT. But there's a piece of wire, and that'll do it. Oh, yeah, a lovely piece of wire there. So basically, if I Connect this. To an earth point. Connect this to an earth point on the amplifier that'll do make sure I've not pulled the speakers out no I haven't let's turn that on turn that on there the other speaker's not on That's quieting it down a bit. Bit of a crackle on that edge shell though. I don't know why. crackle there. Might have a loose wire, torn down wire somewhere. It's not as bad though. It's not as bad as it was. Just see if we're. Let's turn that off so it won't catch me hand on it. Do we need dirt on the air shell? No? Let's tighten that. That's tight. Oh, that's loose. Must have a loose fucking. Must have a loose tone arm wire or somewhere. It must have a. Better than what it was anyway. At least I can listen to that now. 
anyway. Uh, it was a bit crackly up here the other day, but I just think it might need the tone arm wire replaced. It could be a bit. Let's just get me a little point, I think. I'm just give them tone arm wires a jiggle just where they go into the gimbal. If I can find my little fucking thing, there's a screwdriver that'll do. Just give the tone arm wires a prod. So you can touch that. There's no crackles, so let's just put the wires here. Yeah. Hang on. Yeah, when you turn it, so it's probably further down there. Anyway, never mind. <coughs> you can't, you can't hear it when it's on. That's good enough. Right, I'm going to leave it there folks, uh, that's uh, that's the Amstrad that, that's the Amstrad TP12D uh, vintage turntable from the late from the mid to late 70s um, fully uh, all rewired and working better than it did I need to get a free core lead on this amp. I've got one for it somewhere, so I need to get that done and on. So the amp's adequately earthed. And yeah, so the amp's adequately earthed. And uh it will uh, Yeah. And then we're all done. Yeah, I'm happy with this. It's uh, yeah, it's working well. Uh, yeah, I don't know where I'm gonna put this yet because I'm gonna set up. A, I want to. I want. I want to sort out a vintage iFi setup. I've got a nice pair of Wharfdale speakers, the eighties ones. Yeah, I'd like a set of earlier than that, but the eighties Wharfdales weren't bad. They'll do better than nothing. Better than better than what you get today. No, yeah, they'll do. I can't remember which ones they are, but the the good ones are all right. Uh, and I need to refinish all this. I might strip this and re-veneer it because it's fucking marked all over the place. I might, I might re veneer this, do something with it. Anyway, folks, I'm gonna get a fucking drink and then go to bed. I'm fucked. Catch you later. Bye for now.